Hey everybody, it's Douglas from projectfresh.com here and today I'm going to share five really interesting business use cases for AI and automation. So if you don't know me by now, then you need to know that I just really am a believer that technology should work for us and not the other way around. So I do everything I can to streamline our time so we can get back to growing our business and doing whatever else we love. So. We're gonna go over five things. The email newsletter summarizer, highly customized meeting processor, Zoom and YouTube automation, blog and social auto poster, and bulk social content enrichment and scheduling. So that's what we're gonna be covering today. So we're gonna just keep this short and quick. I'm not gonna get too into how it all works. I'm just gonna show you kind of like the before and the after. First, we're gonna just start with a fun one. I get way too many AI newsletters. I was realizing I was spending like, half an hour or 45 minutes every day reading these things and then feeling stressed when I didn't read them. So I created a automation that looks at my newsletters every morning, 9 a.m. and it then sends me a simplified version that looks like this with all the um, articles like uh, the, and it takes out duplicates as well, which is really nice, as well as tools that were mentioned and also job opportunities. Now this could be made to look a lot prettier, but for me, this was just great. I just need the quick links, but you can do this with any types of emails, client emails, whatever you want, other team emails, you could do all sorts of automations. But what's cool is it also sends me a few minute audio podcast. Good morning, it's Douglas from projectfresh.com bringing you the latest AI news for today, Wednesday, August 7th, 2024. Leaked documents reveal that NVIDIA has been scraping millions of videos from platforms like YouTube and Netflix. So you get the idea. I can listen to my own newsletter summary while I make my coffee. So that's the first one. Just a fun thing to give you some ideas. Okay, so next one. This one's really cool. Uh, it's a meeting processor. So this is great for any types of standard meetings that you have. If for like you're like me, I have these meetings where I ask the same 20 questions every time. I used to take four hours crazy making notes and then gathering my notes and then AI came around and I got much quicker at it because then I would just upload the transcript and ask questions at ChatGPT. Well, this meeting processor 150x my time to process these meetings uh, and here's how it works. You just enter the client name and project name. If they have a Google Drive ID or whatever, you know, that could be whatever you want, you put it in there. Uh, if it doesn't, it'll create one for them. All you need to do is attach the meeting transcript where you get from Zoom or Google Meet or whatever, or your recording uh, services like Read or Otter. And then you just choose what type of business meeting it was. And so in this case, it was my brand and business deep dive. So look at what it creates. This is a 16 page example document where it has summary. It's got the action steps all perfectly formatted with my header and everything. I didn't do anything to this document. I would obviously just want to read it through. But next steps, client background, project inspiration, primary goals, secondary goals, everything. Look, you can see, and it's perfectly all formatted here. Client's target audience, the analysis, all their problems, the solution that the client offers, all this kind of stuff. Even like all the way down to like helping them craft their mission. So this is an amazing time saver for standardized business meetings. Okay, cool. So the next thing we're going to do is, so I have all these educational YouTube videos that I post and I'm working with an educational platform that posts them unlisted and then wants to share the videos with their members. So what's really amazing is that we recorded in Zoom and you press record and as soon as you press stop, the uh, video uploads to the cloud and then it takes it and uploads it to YouTube. Now that already saves some time, but that's not the coolest part. The coolest part is that, well, this is a pretty cool part. And then there's one more super cool part. This uh, creates from the transcript a summary, uh, chapter markers. These last ones didn't go hyperlink for some reason, have to fix that. But, uh, and then a standard YouTube signature with links to um, this educational platform called Mindshare Nexus. So that's pretty cool. Well, there's one more thing to show you. It also sends us a m email that says, here's the latest uh, session that's been up successfully uploaded. Here's the link. Uh, you can make it public if you want here, but it provides a simple WhatsApp message for the communication board. And this is the summary that it already put into YouTube. But here's the extra cool part, and this will even segue into the next thing I'm going to talk about. Any extra info you want can be emailed from you. So in, in this case, because for socials, we want to use quotes and things. So we've got all interesting quotes, potential quotes or things that you could turn into content. 
tools, tips, and tricks that were mentioned and other pertinent and useful information. And so that can be helpful for the members, that can be helpful for us uh, as those that run the platform, and that can also be helpful um, for obviously our marketing team to create social media. So super cool stuff. All automated. If you know, uploading YouTube summaries and chapter markers is already a pain in the butt, but also getting all this other info is amazing. Okay, cool. So let's get into a little bit of social media for these last two examples. I've got one a little bit more simple, which is really cool, uh, and then one a little bit more powerful. So first of all, we're going to start with the WordPress socials and auto poster. So I love to post, but I really don't have time. Uh, if you can see that I love to save time, that's my mission here. So uh, I take possibly every morning after I read my simplified newsletter, a really interesting one news post. And all I need to do is put the URL here, the um, a comment on top. I can choose a photo or get AI to create one for me if I don't have one handy. Uh, and then I can choose whichever platforms that I want to post it on. And I usually just post them on all of them. So let's see what this morning's uh, post was all about. So right on my blog, which is always a pain to keep uh, synchronized, but now it's all part of the process. It has uh, the title it's, and it's well SEO formatted, the uh, comment that I made, and then a nice little how it works, benefits, concerns, possible business use cases I even add in there. All this was written with AI, and then also a, sort of a nice thought provoking question to end it with and the link to the article. So what's cool though is then it takes it and it formats it for every platform. This is shorter because Instagram needs to be shorter, and it adds hashtags, which is really nice too. Uh, similarly, Facebook. Facebook's interesting. It, it chooses a photo from the article's link, not the one that you choose. There's probably some ways to make that work differently if you wanted to, but that's currently how that works. Um, and then also, obviously, for LinkedIn, uh, and again, formatted for LinkedIn, which is really nice. Uh, lastly, too, um, the tweet is very short, and you know it has its own hashtag, so that's really nice. All right, so just to really make it extra cool, I decided to do one more thing, and it now goes and creates a video short uh, for me and it clones my voice and it reads it a short 30 second or 40 second news article so a new language model LSLM takes a big leap it can listen and speak simultaneously so pretty cool stuff right and that is actually a dynamically created video that in its background is just the image that we chose just slowly morphing but if budget wasn't an issue you can do things like talking AI avatars you could do a stock imagery, a stock video that gets added in the background, possibly making this much more uh, engaging. But these also get some good views for me and they're really easy and fun to do. So that's my auto poster for news. And the last one I want to get into is a really powerful tool that I just created. Uh, and it's called the Instagram generator and scheduler. Okay, and so what this is, is a simple form that allows you to do a few features. So this works with a spreadsheet, which I'll show you here. So the spreadsheet, is effectively um, where your marketing team works out of and it has kind of the pillars for your week and so you have these different templates that you uh, want to create posts for but going into canva working out the captions and the hashtags that's all kind of a pain if you need to create AI imagery so what i designed was this uh, tool that integrates with this spreadsheet and there's the tabs of your pillars along the bottom so what's cool about this it doesn't need all the things what's required is the things in red um, but then it can actually have uh, blanks like here. We'll see in a second. So uh, some of these uh, fields are blank uh, Or actually it's the mindset one is missing a photo URL, right? So what we want to do first is actually go and enrich this spreadsheet with all AI imagery and hashtags for any missing Slots and those there could be 40 different posts in there, but let's just see how that works all right, so now back in our spreadsheet, we can see that all of the missing fields have actually had a first pass thanks to AI. But all the hashtag uh, fields that were empty are now full, and uh, this one wasn't. This one already had one, so it didn't get replaced. And then lastly, it also created, besides the hashtags, the AI image. So this is a wonderful evening, great company, and this is the file that it made for it. Now you know this is something that you could absolutely play with we could make that image very much formatted for your brand or specific needs. Uh, but in this case, that totally works fine for our needs. So now what we've got is our spreadsheet created. And if we needed to, we could come back here and manually process any one of these uh, just to test it to see how it looks. But what we're going to do is schedule an entire set. And so what this does is it processes an entire row and then it sends it to our scheduler. And we're going to start to see these disappear. 
They've been moved to our um, process section so we could see what was actually created. And not just that, if you want to do it again, you can copy it back to another part of the spreadsheet. But here's the cool part. Here are all the dynamic images that were created specifically from templates, which is so neat. I mean, there's that image we just saw with the AI, right? So as you can see, that's amazing. That saves so much time. You could take all those quotes. You could even connect these systems. So for example, connecting that YouTube system that generates all those quotes and input the best quotes directly automatically into the spreadsheet for you to then or your team to go and fill out and enrich with the hashtags, AI imagery, all that kind of stuff. And it doesn't stop there. These are images for Instagram. This could be any social media platform. This could be videos as well, just like I showed you the video from before. So you could have stories, you could have wide videos, whatever really you want, you just need to have this all charted out. And so um, the next one I'm working on, I'm not gonna share today, is all about cold email lead generation. And that's the ability for how to get thousands of leads that are very tailored to your specific target audience and then enrich those leads, find the most late in, latest information about those contacts, and then be able to dynamically create highly personalized emails and even uh, individual follow-ups in an automated way so that you could send out 10, 100, 1,000, I think up to 2,500 per day of these emails. I don't think you'd want to send that many, but the point being that it is incredibly valuable. Even if then you're turning around 10% of those, that's still you know, 250, uh, if you did 2,500 or 25, if you did, you know, um, if you did less than that, you can imagine how uh, how powerful that could be. So, anyways, I hope I shared with you some really cool ideas. If you want to start to think about how you can chart out linear flows and processes to help you streamline them, then by all means, I am so happy to talk about that. Again, I'm Douglas from ProjectFresh.com. I love all things automations so you can get back to doing what you're great at and what you love doing and not be caught up in all the technological and boring processes. All right. Thanks again for watching. Bye.